Hi, I'm Jen Dugard. Thanks for reading my book, How to Love Your Body As Much As Your Baby. In this video, you're gonna see one of the sample exercise programs that I talk about in the book. In program one, we're gonna be doing upper body and lower body exercises. So first up, you're gonna do a lower body exercise, then your upper body exercise, followed by one minute's cardio. You're gonna do 12 reps of each exercise, then your one minute cardio, then you go back to the beginning and complete that set three times. For your squat, we're gonna start with a body weight squat. So feet are slightly wider than hip width apart, chest is up, shoulders down, and little awareness through pelvic floor and TA. We're gonna keep the weight through your heels and going all the way down into your squat. Now the first time you do a squat, I want you just to check in at the bottom with pelvic floor. So go all the way down. Can you contract pelvic floor in this position? If you can, that's good. And you can keep going to that depth. If you can't, we're not gonna go quite so deep. So chest is up, shoulders down, weight is through the heels, drive through the heels as you come to the top. Okay, so assuming your pelvic floor was working well in your body weight squat, you can start to weight your squats using a resistance elastic. So put it under your feet. Bring the arms up to the side. Again, chest up, shoulders down, slide away awareness through pelvic floor and TA. And we're gonna go down into your squat. And chest is up, shoulders down. We're gonna go down into your squat. Weight is through the heels. For the first one, hold it for a second. Check in with pelvic floor. Can you contract? Can you release? If you can, you can stay with this resistance elastic. So chest up, shoulders down. And all the way up. So with your squat, every time you up the intensity, whether you add weight or go to a heavier elastic, if you can't feel pelvic floor working at the bottom of your squat, you need to make it easier. You're always working and training to the weakest link. In your push-ups, we just there's a couple of things we need to keep in mind. So if you have any abdominal separation, you need to make sure that your tummy's not peeking throughout your push-up. There's different levels of push-ups from on your toes to your knees and then also hands on a fence. So you need to choose the exercise that's most appropriate for you at the moment. I'd also like you to make sure you check in with pelvic floor at the bottom of your push-up. If when you're at the bottom, you can't activate pelvic floor, that means that this exercise is a little bit too hard for you at the moment and you need to choose one of the easier exercises either on your knees or hands on a fence. So if you're not quite ready for push-ups on the floor yet, you can use a bench or a fence. So hands on the fence, chest is up, shoulders down. You're gonna take your chest all the way to the bench and then straight back up again. So you keep your shoulders down, go all the way to the bench, push through the chest, coming back up. So coming all the way to the bench, shoulders down, push through your chest and straight back up. So setting up for your push up, Hands are in line with shoulders. There's a nice straight line from shoulders all the way down to your knees. We're gonna go down chest to the ground. Then you drive through your chest, keep your shoulders down, come all the way back up to the top. If you can do your push up on your knees, you can progress to your toes. Just make sure pelvic floor's working well and there's no peeking through the tummy. So coming into your push up position, onto your toes, shoulders are down, nice straight line from shoulders all the way down to ankles. Think pelvic floor TA, chest to the ground. Drive through the chest, come all the way up to the top. Sumo squat, we're gonna be standing with legs wider apart, toes turned out. Now I really want you to make sure you check in with pelvic floor at the bottom of your first body weight sumo squat to make sure everything's working well. If it's not, a sumo might not be the exercise for you at the moment, you might need to go back to your normal squat. So, legs are out wide, chest is up, shoulders down. Remembering to do your check-in in your first sumo squat and hands down to the front, all the way down. Then we're gonna squeeze the bum, bring it all the way back up to the top. So chest is up, shoulders down, bum goes back. When you get to the bottom, you're gonna squeeze the glutes, come all the way back to the top. So just making sure your knees don't come in in your squat. So knees go over your toes, squeeze the glutes, come all the way to the top. 
Okay, so assuming your body weight sumo squat was good, we can start to load up with a bit of resistance. You're gonna use your resistance elastic again. So setting it up under your feet. We're gonna have hands on the inside of your legs. Again, weight through your heels, chest is up. Squeeze all the way up, chest up, shoulders down. So chest up, shoulders down as you go down. Squeeze the bum. Bring hands to the outside of your knees as you stand. For your row, we're gonna start with feet hip width apart, slight bend in your knees. Your elastic is wrapped around something that doesn't move. Palms face down to start with, chest is up, shoulders down. We're gonna draw the shoulders back, squeeze shoulder blades together, and then bend the arms. Keep the chest up, shoulders down throughout. Draw shoulders back, squeeze shoulder blades together, and bring hands into your ribs. So chest up, draw shoulders back, squeeze shoulder blades together, then bring hands into the ribs. For your alternating lunge, we start on a train track, feet on train tracks, chest is up, shoulders down. We're gonna take a nice big step forward, go down into your lunge, wiggle your toes, push through your heels, squeeze the bum, come all the way to the stand, and then the other leg. And again, wiggle your toes, push through your heel, squeeze the bum all the way up. Wiggle your toe, push through your heel, activate the glute, and then to a stand. So when you're down in your lunge, just make sure your knee doesn't come across your leg. Push it slightly out to the side. You wiggle your toe, push through your heel, make sure your knee's out, and then come to a stand. And all the way back. So if you had any pelvis pain, pelvic instability, pubic symphysis pain or sciatica throughout your pregnancy, just be aware when you're doing an alternating lunge. It might be that it's not the right exercise for you at the moment and you need to substitute with a squat instead. For your tricep dip, find yourself a fence or a bench. Chest is gonna be up, shoulders down. Hands are nice and close to your hips. Really grow up tall. You're gonna take your bum just off the bench Again, keep chest up, shoulders down. We're gonna send elbows backwards. Keep the shoulders nice and stable all the way down into your tricep dip, and then push it all the way back up. Now in your tricep dip, you need to make sure the bum stays nice and close to the bench, and you just gently brush your back against the bench every time you go down, and coming all the way up to the top. So chest is up, shoulders down. As you come down, elbows go back. Brush the bench with your back, and then coming all the way up to the top, make sure you go right up at the top. So for your step up, we're gonna be stepping up onto a step or a bench. You can vary the height depending on where you're at. Put your heel, make sure your heel's on the bench, and make sure your knee doesn't go over your toe as you step up. So we're driving through the heel, activating the bum, coming all the way up to the top, nice and slow, keep the hips level, and then we're gonna go all the way back down. So driving through the heel, make sure the knee doesn't come over, squeeze the bum all the way up to the top, and then slowly, slowly down. So wrapping your elastic around something up high, come down onto your knees. You've got chest up, shoulders are set down. Now we're gonna be taking hands from a V all the way down to a W, whilst fanning your shoulder blades wide out to the side. From a V to a W, fan shoulder blades wide out to the side, keep your shoulders down. So I hope you enjoyed program number one. And if you stumbled upon this video without having read the book, you can always visit jendugard.com and grab your own copy there.